Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, and I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame and the creator of Four Zone Healing, which is for your medical ascension. Today, we're going to talk about being an empath. And yes, I will have a webinar group coming up on empaths, but let's talk about this a little bit. Um, people who are an empath frequently go around with a lot of pain and they feel dumped on and sometimes they feel like there's no end in sight. Now there's a lot of encouragement on the internet about how you can be an empath and you have these gifts. Frankly, everyone has those gifts. So how do we separate those two, put you in love, let you feel what you need to feel without feeling everyone else's pain? As a twin flame, you have a brand new light body. People who are ascending might go into denial that they're a twin flame or not. So ascension is for fitting up into your brand new light body. Your brand new light body is designed so that it is not holding everything from everyone else. You're in a time right now where you're going to see a lot coming out of the collective. It is just popping out all over. The wars that you see, these are ancient wars being repeated with modern weapons, but that angst and the strife and the hatred and everything else that can be felt. If you have any type of ancestry that goes to any of these points on the planet, you're going to feel some of it. You're going to feel things well up inside you. It is a part of the genetics. It's a part of the genetic DNA of whatever has been suffered. Occupations, invasions. Not to mention feeling the person in the next cubicle and feeling all their stuff, maybe not just hearing it. Now, being an empath is not necessarily a special gift, although people can use their special gifts to deal and cope with it. We do something different. We help you when you're feeling things empathically, but we want to help you to sort it. We want you to have peace, not just peace, peace and quiet and calmness and relaxation in your own body, no matter what chaos is going on. I like to talk about making people neuromagical. How would you like to be neuromagical? and be something entirely different than neurotypical or neurodivergent because you have all this stuff. These things are because some of the parts of people are in a state of disorder. There, there's some. It doesn't mean they have a full-blown disorder, but somehow things aren't functioning properly. Nobody is perfect, but our brand new light body is trying to perfect things for us. You came here with it packed in you. Now, a little bit more about being an empath and how this works. And this is what makes my work different than from what I can tell everybody else out there. My work helps you to integrate your light body. Being an empath means you can detect things. You can sense it. In fact, your senses get a lot deeper. Your discernment gets deeper. Your ability to come up with solutions or how is a better way to deal with this gets deeper. Here's the biggest difference. You don't hold that. And that means when you come together with your true love, you're not bringing a whole bunch of other people's stuff in there with you, no matter what you think your mission is. Your mission may be that you want to help people, and that's great. But you're not going to help it by becoming overloaded yourself. You're not going to be able to help by losing your energy. Pain is not only demoralizing, it depletes your energy. Pain is pain. Doesn't matter how people tell you pain, you can transcend the pain. Real pain is pain. I, In fact, I had that argument with my guides in the beginning because they were saying some of this fluffy stuff that just is crap about, you know, pain is just resistance leaving the body. If you believe that Go join the Marine Corps. If you're here for love and you're here to feel good, feel at peace, feel yourself, feel your other half, then join us. When you're an empath, 
you're usually overloaded from several timelines. It's not just this life. It doesn't mean you're overly sensitive just from this life. It means that your nerves are so overwrought in several directions that it really takes a multidimensional way of healing it. And when I say multidimensional healing, what I really mean how the process works is full removal. We remove that. Where were you attacked? Where were you abandoned? What happened in your childhood? What happened in a thousand childhoods? What happened in that marriage? What happened when you died in childbirth? All these things can have an effect on how you feel, how you perceive, how you discern, how numbed out you are, how exhausted you are. Are you feeling exhaustion? So one of the things that is happening, particularly at this time, is headaches, migraine headaches, head pressure, extreme shoulder and neck pressure. And it is very, very exhausting. Are you feeling tired all the time? If you're feeling tired all the time, you're probably overloaded and you may not know the direction that this has happened from. Join us, okay? I can say it like that because people have joined. This is some of the feedback we get from our things. I was feeling less connected with those people, but I was feeling more compassionate. Yes, because when you do this work the proper way and you integrate your light body and its brand new connections, it provides a protective shield. It provides an upper level of protection. It's like you have one and another, and we get those going for you so that they form around you, so that it's tangible to you and you can feel it. But you can be compassionate with others. You can cut right through the BS or even what they're saying. Are they masking? Are they masking? Are you masking? Are you really upset? This means that the right words can come through you. The right choices can come through you. It works through you. And it's not a mind thing because this is what we mean acting from the heart. It kind of bypasses. You still have your vocabulary. You have your mobility. You have your ability to walk or dance or use vocabulary, different words. But your actions come from your high heart. And that is the key difference. So what if you are someone who works with people, okay? You work in an office. Anyone who works with people, you're going to feel it. But you can even feel animals as well. Animals have feelings. I'm going to say one other thing here uh, that I saw someone pose a question. Do men have deep emotions? Well, first, let's say masking. A lot of them have learned to mask themselves, what they're feeling, how hurt they are, of uh, physical pains. I mean, I used to work at a body shop. You know what the guys would do? They'd nick themselves on some metal, some jagged edge of metal or a tool or something. You know what they do? They'd go get the masking tape, tape it up, bleed. I would, I would find blood on the car sometimes because the guy was in a hurry to just keep going and finish the job. Now, we live in cultures where everyone is in a hurry. Part of that is the time compression that you're in. It will feel like there's not enough time at times. It will make you feel like you're getting knocked down with fatigue and tiredness, and you're just not able to get everything done. That's the time compression. But the fatigue and the tiredness and the low energy these for women can cause trouble for you because they are strongly connected to your old connections of your reproductive system. And if it's left unaddressed, if you are leaving your ascension symptoms and these other things unaddressed, it is time to work with us. Work with me because we get it moving very expediently within days and weeks. If you feel like you are an empath and you'd like to get to those superpowers. Check out the links below. We hope you join us. We also offer sessions for deep psyche things for your spirit. And 
of course, to talk about your journey. We have coaching and we have, you know, let's talk about what's going on with you because we are the living bridge between the medical, between the mental health departments of the world, which they're getting overloaded. We are it, okay? We are ascension. We are medical ascension and we are reconnective healers. We do healing by reconnecting you with those vital parts of yourself. So thank you so much. I'm Patricia. Check it out. Look at the links below in the description. We hope to see you there. Bye.